Hi, thanks for joining us again. Roger here with Steampunked Out Nemesis Gear with another tips and tricks and how-to video for you. And today we're going to talk about setting line 20 and line 24 snaps. So let's get, get zoomed in to the workspace here so you can see what we're doing. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the snaps that we're going to be talking about uh, setting today. Uh, there's two snaps that I want to talk to you about, uh, line 20 and line 24s. And basically these snaps are a uh, what you see on a lot of leather jackets and pouches and stuff like that and there's four pieces to them and what we've got here is the shank pieces and these are um, one side is flat that's going to be your back side and one side is domed and then they have the shaft on them and those shafts go up uh, through the holes of the uh, the male and the female piece and brad down so that it holds a snap into the leather. Um, the male and female piece are set up so that um, this is uh, the female piece has got the spring, it's a little loose spring of um, metal on the inside and that clamps around the male piece that pops into the side and that holds it together. Uh, the line 20 snaps, uh, the, the smaller snap, um, they're good for old lightweight application, so uh, we use them a lot on retention straps for, say, a, oh, a holster or uh, something along those lines. And then the larger uh, Line 24 snaps, they're a little bit stiffer piece of, um, of metal on the inside of these, so uh, they, they're a little bit tighter, and we use those for things like belts uh, or something that there's going to be a fair amount of pressure on. So let's do uh, some look at the tools real quick. You're going to have to have your hand setters. Uh, there's one for line uh, 20 and one for line 24 um, that you want to make sure that you have the right tool or they're not going to fit and set the, the posts on the snaps uh, uh, properly. And then also you're going to want to have a proper anvil for the dome side especially. Uh, it's not so important for the flat side, the dome side. You're definitely going to need a uh, proper anvil. And then you're going to need a setting mallet of some kind. I've, I'm used to the, using this big heavy two pounder because I, I don't switch tools as often. You really don't need anything this heavy. A lot of people like uh, lighter weight uh, wooden mallet so that you don't hit it too hard and overset. And uh, I'll explain that when we actually start setting here. Uh, and then you also have um, your uh, some sort of uh, punch to punch holes in the leather for the snaps. You want to make sure that when you're punching the holes in the leather that they're going to match up to the size of shaft that you have. Um, these line 24 snaps are a little bit bigger so you can kind of look and see whether it's a hand setter or a rotary setter like this. Look and see, even take a piece of scrap leather and punch a hole in it and try to get the hole to match up to the size of your snap shaft. Uh, as best you can. You want it really close. You don't want to be fighting it. You don't want it over tight so it's hard to get in, uh, but you don't want it loose wiggling around in that hole either. So uh, I'm going to use this on my uh, line 24 snaps and just going to punch a couple holes here real quick. Uh, for my line 20 snaps, they're a little bit smaller shaft, so I'm going to switch this around and do a little bit, couple of smaller holes here so that we can set those. And when you're choosing um, your snaps, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right snap uh, for the job. So part of it has to do with how much uh, pressure is going to be on it. Uh, and part of it is going to have to do with um, the thickness of your leather. Okay, so the leather thickness that I'm using here, this is uh, the heavier leather um, for about 8 ounce or whatever. Works really a lot better with the, um, line, the standard line 24s and usually a five to six ounce is what I typically uh, I'm using with the um, line 20s. Um, the shafts on these are just a little bit uh, shorter so they work better for the thinner leather. Of course you know you're, the, the more shaft that you have, extra shaft that you have sticking out of the leather the more likely you are to uh, bend the shaft over when you're trying to set it. So let's, uh, let's set a couple of these real quick. Uh, when you're setting these and you're deciding, you know, because there's four pieces, you can set the male or the female side on either shaft. Um, typically, though, what I found is I like to put the male side of the, of the snap onto the flat part, onto the flat um, post, and then the male side, or the female side, sorry, male side on a flat, female side onto the dome. And the reason being is the dome is uh, because of the way that the snap head is made. There's a gap between the inner piece of the snap and the, and the outer dome. And these are the ones that like to bend over the easiest. Um, the, um, 
female side of the snap gives me a little bit more room on the inside of the snap to work with so I can control the angle of my setter. So uh, when we're doing um, a line, 20, uh, line 24 snap, let's just go ahead and set those real quick. I'm going to put, again, I'm using the um, flat side with the male piece of the snap, so the part that goes inside the dome uh, of the other piece. And uh, you want the dome, of course, facing the outside, you know, on your finished piece. You know, it's going to be towards the outside, the, the part that you're going to see. That's where you want the dome. So when you put these together, decide which is going to be your inside snap part and which uh, on the inside, say, inside a coat or a strap or something that's not going to be seen, which is going to be your outside. Uh, and make sure you figure that out when you're setting those up. Now, when we set these, we're going to go ahead and put, the, I, on this, I'm using just a good flat piece of granite. And uh, I'm going to put the, the flat side of the snap down, then the leather, of course, and then the, the actual, the male side of the snap. And we're, we are going to choose the right um, snap setter for this. This is the Line 24 setter. And we are not going to hit this hard and fast. That is not the way to set the snap. It's a good way to bend it over. Uh, and they're a nightmare to get in and out. You know, if you start bending it over, it's really hard to get it to go back straight again. And you're going to end up just having to cut the snap out of it and redo it. So um, what we're going to do on this is we're going to, I'm going to start just lightly tapping this down. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of starting to brad over that inside. Then we're going to rotate this. Now we're going to rotate the snap center and we're not making big wide rotation. We're just lightly tilting this in a circular motion as we're working it around. But the hammer, we don't want to follow it. So if we're tilting this way, we don't want to follow it. We still want to hit straight down on this. So that's why you only want a slight tilt. So your, your pressure is still going downward, not at an angle, because the angle is going to bend your snap. But what we're doing is we're putting pressure on different parts of that, um, the brad, the piece that we're bradding over on that stem. And that's going to allow us to work it in a circular motion a little at a time and keep it from bending over. So I'm going to start the rotation here. And you're going to want to keep setting this until that this does not spin freely on here. Right now, the the snap itself it just it spins on the shaft, so we know that we don't have that all the way set yet. So we're going to keep rotating. And that's a good, you know, nice and tight. And if you look down through the center hole of your snap, you're going to you should see a nice clean straight hole. So you did not bend over the shaft. So that's a good set, and uh, it's, it's nice on the back side as well. It's flush, and that's what we're looking for. Now to set the dome side of the snap, you're going to want your anvil for this. Make sure that you put, they have the right anvil and the right snap set up so that when you put the head of this snap in there, it should not wiggle or move. It's going to hold that nice and perpendicular to your, um, your anvil surface. And same thing, pop the, uh, the snap in there, pop your leather on. Put the female side of the snap on, and then we're going to take the setter. And the, the, what we want to really do on these, on these dome sides, because there's that gap on the inside of the snap between the dome side and the, the piece that actually is the shaft, what we're going to do is we're going to lightly tap that down as straight as possible until the, in, the inside piece connects with the dome at the bottom so that it has a nice rounded... Uh, you know, flat, solid connection for us to actually start setting the snap. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing that real lightly, and I like to hold really far down on this at first until I get this, get this started. It holds my, um, my upper, my top piece in place. So as you're setting this, it's not bouncing and it doesn't come off the shaft while you're setting it. So starting out, I'm going straight down. You, and you can feel it if you're holding way down here and you're pinching it nice and solid. You'll feel it go like setting down in there, and then you'll kind of you'll get is a real subtle sound change uh, when you're set, hammering this in. So you'll know when it hits the domed piece and it's ready to start setting. That, yeah, it's got a nice set there. So now we're just once it's in there, we're going to start our rotation on this. And if we did it right, there should be no, this should not really spin on here easily. It should be fairly, fairly snug and tight. And that's what we've got. 
you look down through the center of the hole, uh, if this is nice and clean, you know the shaft isn't bent, you know you've got a good set, and that's what you're looking for. So this should be should snap together, should hold it nice and tight. And this the line 24 again, it's a little bit stiffer snap. The line 20s are the same sort of setup on these, but because the shaft uh, the the shaft on the snap, the the part that you bright over is thinner. These are the ones that really like to bend over on you if you're not careful. So you really, it's really important that you work these nice and slow. Now I'm taking the flat side of the snap again and the uh, male side, and I'm putting that in holding it down with my fingers down at the tip there and starting my set so that it starts to brad over and then I'm going to same thing so just do your rotation lightly rotate it around nice and tight good straight clean hole doesn't doesn't move around on there flush back side that's what we're looking for same thing on the dome side again make sure you're you're getting the right snap in the right anvil this is the 24 this is the line 20 make sure that it's nice and tight in there it doesn't wiggle around put your leather on put your female side of the snap on there and then again proper setter line 20 setter and again we're going to hit this so that the uh, inside piece of the snap um, pushes down and and mates with the domed side on the inside of the snap so that you get a good solid flat surface for that on the inside of the snap and that's going to make it set a lot better for you. There we go. We, I can hear it down in there now. It's nice and solid. We're going to start our rotation. Alright, again, you should look down through there, you should have a nice clean hole, uh, it's not bent over or anything, and that's going to make for a much better, it doesn't rotate on there, and that's what we're trying to do. If you're, if you're having a, a problem getting these set and you're bending them over, then you want to start looking and making sure that your angle on your hammer, you're not hitting it at an angle, you know, even if you're straight down, but your hammer head is an angle, that's going to connect uh, on one side and that's going to tend to want to push it and bend it over to one way or the other so again you want to make sure you're connected on a straight down motion because that's that's how you want it to set uh, also if you're over setting it then switch to a lighter mallet so you can see I was just barely tapping this on the top if you're if you're hitting this too hard that's also going to overset it and it's going to bend so go ahead and switch to something lighter so that it takes a lot more hits for you uh, to, to get these set so but that's the basics of line 20 and 24 snaps. Again, just make sure you got the right tools. Uh, practice, practice, practice. The more you do with these, the more clean uh, you're going to have and a little bit less waste. And these are, these are not the cheapest snaps in the world. So uh, the, the better that you can set these, the more money you're going to save in the long run. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you like our videos, please uh, subscribe to us. Check us out on uh, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and visit the websites for some of our products and product demos, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Uh, thanks for joining us. Steampunked out, Nemesis Gear.